documentation here, Oracle Enterprise Repository for Fusion Applications. Let's say we are working for uh, financials. Go to Cloud Applications. If we are working for financials, we have to choose this option. If we are working for supply chain management, we have to look for this option. If it is human capital management, we can find the details over here. Okay. Let's say financials, we are working. Select this. When we choose financials. We will come to know Oracle Financials 23D. This is the latest version, 2023, fourth quarter. D means fourth quarter. So from January 24, it will be 24A. 2024 will be the year, and A is the update. Every year there will be four updates, means four quarters. Every quarter there will be update in the product, right? 24A, 24B, 24C, 24D. There will be a four. Same thing next to 2025. Like that, it's quite common updates in every quarter in the cloud about the current uh, product here okay so the moment when we choose oracle financials here we can find here left side all books let's choose this all books here once we choose uh, all books so uh, initially it will be having starting with the cloud and we can find user guides uh, to go for uh, the business flows and all and then after that we will find implementation guides implementation guides are uh, basically when the organizations wants to go for uh, implement this application for the client we will be following this implementation guides which are very important for uh, our functional consultant functional consultants it is very important so we are supposed to go through this implementation guides. Just one minute, guys. Implementation uh, guides are used for implementing the application to the and uh, module wise we will find this uh, user guides after that we have administration administration uh, is basically configuration of data reporting part and uh, how the data licensing information these all are in general uh, we will find ess schedule process otba reports administration and all and we will find the security development is required for the technical consultants so api and schema development api stands for application programming interface this is for data exchange between the applications if clients are using multiple applications if they want to go for change the exchange the data between the applications either invoice data or purchase order data requisitions or employees employee transfers data this all can be exchanged between the applications by using the apis we'll find uh, two major things one is rest api another one is uh, soap apis rest api and soap api now we can find here tables and views for common features common features are nothing but our fsm environment uh, those all are the setup environment tables generally we don't require those FSM tables mainly module wise we need the tables tables and views for the financials table stores the data the moment when we enter the data in the front end and the save button and submit button information stores in the back end database tables okay so that information stores in the database tables so here we have the views also view is internally it's a table only either select the data from one table or from multiple tables a view doesn't store the data we don't have the data in the view view is internally referring to the table only internally referring to the table but it can have the filtering options and it can also have the security it can also have multiple tables also okay 
So now uh, if I go for a HTML, I can see that uh, module-wise, this is fixed assets module, tables and views, budget module, cash management module, expense module, financials, okay, and uh, financials for ledger, general ledger module, legal entity configurator, and we'll find payables module, account payables. Uh, I can see the table names. There will be a hundreds of tables. There will be a hundreds of tables uh, we'll find. But uh, generally technical consultants uh, used to go through the regular tables which we use in our queries. How to find this table is used regularly and this table is not used regularly. It means uh, when we talk about the transactions point of view, whatever you do from the navigator, that's going to be a transactions point of view. Whatever we perform here, then those tables are important. Let's say we talk about financials and we are talking about account tables model. Okay. And here I can see that invoices. Okay. Well, we are going to create invoice, cancel the invoice, uh, uh, and we are trying to update the invoices. Right and try to find out the invoices, supplier-wise, uh, types of invoices, and payments. Uh, this is all information we are going to find from the payables. This is all information we are going to find from the payables. Okay. So whatever we do from the navigator point of view, those tables are important. Those Let's say AP invoices all is there. This table uh, contains the records for invoices, whatever we enter. Whatever we enter in the front end, this table stores the information. An invoice can have one or more invoice distribution lines. You know, account payables, uh, when we create invoice, we'll enter the information at three levels, headers, lines, and distributions, right? Okay, that information we can find in this headers table, invoices all. And then we have other tables also, the expense reports, headers all, Expense reports and us all contains our uh, expense reports information. You come to know what is the primary key here. Uh, primary key is the invoice ID uh, that we will be using to write uh, the joint conditions here. And we can also find foreign keys, nothing but uh, if you are trying to join with some other table, uh, what are the foreign keys we will be using that, that we are going to specify here foreign keys and we'll find the indexes. Indexes are defined by Oracle and of course we can also create uh, here. Uh, but indexes uh, is mainly for improving the performance. When we are writing the query, if it's taking long time, uh, if you want to improve the query performance, then we are going to use them. Whenever you find any table with interface, the meaning of that table is uh, that table contains the information temporarily. When you try to load the data from other uh, systems, when you try to load the data from some other applications, uh, then this uh, interface table stores uh, temporarily for data validation. For example, your client is using multiple applications. One is Oracle Cloud ERP, another one is SAP application. Let's say an SAP application client has created a couple of invoices and they're trying to migrate from our conversion from SAP to cloud ERP fusion, then we'll find the data in uh, interface tables temporarily for validating the data.